Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will learn about the usage of cooler, heater, and heat exchanger in HiSys. All right, we are now inside the HiSys. First, we go to component list, and here we click the drop down and we select HiSys. And we will only involve one component, which is water. So we find water here, we click add. Okay, and we can also minimize this auto height. You can see the status, it's already okay. So we can go to fluid package. Again, we select high sys and we will find Peng Robinson as our fluid package. Okay, we find Peng Robinson this one and the status again is okay all right so now we can go to simulation environment okay and this is our palette all right okay we are now ready to run or to create the model auto height First, we will find the heater, this one heater. Okay. And we can find also cooler. We place it here. All right. And then heat exchanger. Okay. And we can also right click and change icon. I prefer this one, the icon. All right. So we have heater, cooler, and heat exchanger. First, we will do the heater. We open. And for the inlet stream, heater in and outlet heater out heater q let's call it this way close yeah you can see the stream okay we check again there's a problem heater in heater out heater q okay we check all right Heater in, heater out, heater Q. Okay, we open again and we go to worksheet. Okay, we can type in or we can input our data here. Or we can also provide the information by entering heater in like this one. Okay, I prefer doing this. And for the temperature, inlet temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, 25 centigrade. And then for the pressure, I will input one atmosphere. This one, one, and then atmosphere. Okay, so it will be converted automatically to KPA, 101.3 KPA. Okay, and then we go to molar flow. It will be 100 kilogram mole per hour. All right, and then of course we go to composition and the composition will be one as a fraction. Okay. We wait. Yeah, sometimes it happens. One. Okay. H2O mole fraction one. Okay. So the status will be okay close all right and then we go to heater out so the temperature will be increase all right from let's say 25 to 70 okay this one i mean temperature 70 centigrade and let's assume no pressure drop so or practically speaking the pressure drop is negligible so the pressure will be one atmosphere Okay, the status is okay and it has been completed. 
So we can now show the energy into the heater. We can show table like this one. So the heat flow is this one. Okay. Positive. So heat or energy is provided into the heater system to increase the temperature of the water from 25 to 70 centigrade. Okay, that's easy. And then we, we will do the same, more or less the same in cooler. So we open the cooler. We call it cooler in and then cooler out. Cooler Q. Enter. Unknown delta P, of course, close. Okay, so this is our system. We can also close this one. Okay, and then we provide information into the cooler in. All right, let's say in this one, first composition maybe, one, Okay, and then the condition, for example, temperature from 70, okay, at one atmosphere, molar flow 100 kilogram more per hour, okay, status okay, and then let's say here we increase the temperature from 25 to 70. Let's say we will now cool the water from 70 to 25 in this cooler. So temperature will be 25 centigrade. The pressure, we assume negligible pressure drop. So one atmosphere. Okay. And let's check the heat. Right click, show table. All right. The same. Okay. But of course, the, the sign will be different. This should be positive, And this is actually negative. OK? Because heat is extracted from this cooler system. OK? Heat is taken out to cool down the water from 70 centigrade to 25 degrees Celsius. OK? So that's quite easy. We can smaller the picture. And lastly, we will do the same thing, more or less the same thing heat in heat exchanger. OK, so we open the heat exchanger. OK. Let's call it HE, heat exchanger, tube in, and then HE, tube out, and then this one HE shell in and heat exchanger shell out. OK, this is our system, our configuration. All right. OK, and now let's do for this one the tube side first. Okay, let's say the tube, the temperature will be 80 degrees Celsius, one atmosphere, 100 kilogram mole per hour, composition 100% water. Okay, and let's say for the tube out, OK, for the tube out, we will set the pressure will be the same, negligible pressure drop. So again, one atmosphere, unknown temperature, OK, it's OK. And then the heat exchanger shell, shell side in, we open. So we will cool down the water inside the tube whose temperature is 80 degrees 
with water inside the shell whose temperature is only 25 degrees centigrade. So the pressure again is the same, one atmosphere. And for the molar flow, let's say 50 kilogram mole per hour. Okay, and then the composition, again, only water we have. Okay, and then we click OK. And then we will set the data in the HE shell out. Okay, and then we assume the temperature will rise from 25 to 40 degrees centi centigrade. Okay. And let's set the pressure to be one atmosphere. Okay, so the status is okay. And the system is completed. So as you can see, it's already completed. And we can also do the same thing, right click, show table. Okay, so you can see the duty, this one, and the temperature. Okay, so now we can obtain the tube outlet temperature, which is 72.56 Celsius. Okay, and it's easy. And that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching. And see you again in the next high video videos. Thank you.